Austin Aries, another man who had his debut at NXT TakeOver Dallas. And what am I doing today? I'm reviewing his TNA figure release. He is now with the WWE on NXT, but I figure this is the perfect time. And check it out, the back of the box. You got AJ Styles. This is so surreal, right? And Austin Aries, same pack, and they're both in the WWE. Jeff Hardy, will he be in the WWE? <laughs> Unbox. Comes with an accessory, which is like a TNA belt. It looks... All right, but if you have a Drew McIntyre, I'm sure you can throw this on there right now. <laughs> now let's get the rotation. Now the great thing with these old school Jax figures is they were basically like 10 to 12 bucks and they had elite articulation, almost. But the problem with them is that they're Jax, so their body sculpt and everything, it's very over the top and very cartoony, which sometimes makes that better for playing, but in this day and age, everything's about accuracy and having things to scale. So while that might have worked in the early 2000s, it doesn't really work well nowadays. But you can see that I personally think that the face is quite solid. And I've always felt like Jack's figures usually have better faces than Mattel. Like the sculpt, I can definitely read him there, but full on, I think the eyes are a bit odd. Looks like he's seen some crazy stuff. Articulations, check this out, right? Articulations, check this out, right? He has nice articulation. One odd thing is that he only has a single bend at the elbow, very much like Mattel figures, uh, WWE style Mattel figures. And it is basically the same as an elite figure, articulation-wise. He's just giant. He's not actually this big in real life. I do like the details and the paint and all that jazz, but I'm always a bit let down by the scale of these guys because let's do a size comparison. Here he is next to Nakarama. And yeah, not the same. And here he is next to... Sami Zayn, and he looks like a freaking giant next to Sami Zayn. He looks wild. So overall, I think this is a really nice figure to include in a TNA set, but if you try and make this work with your WWE NXT figures, it's not going to happen. It's a good Austin Ares figure, but the, just the jack scale doesn't work. I don't know why they continue to do this weird scale, probably because they already have all the parts and stuff from when they had the WWE license, but this day and age... Everything's about accuracy. So thanks for watching this quick review. I have a question for you, a discussion for the comments. What was your favorite match that took place during NXT TakeOver Dallas? Let me know in the comments. For me, it was the girl who was a nine who I matched with on Tinder. <laughs>